Good evening, class. Welcome back. So we shall go continue with the remaining questions. Now you look at this question. A chord of a circle of radius 12 centimeters subtends an angle 120 degree at the center. Find the area of the corresponding segment of the circle. Use pi as 3.14 and root 3 as 1.73. Okay? So for this question, this is a very interesting question and I think it's also important. Clear? So they have given that the radius of a circle is 12 centimeters. So from this point to this point, it's going to be 12. Okay, so radius means from the center of the circle to this given <coughs> point is is actually going to be the radius. Okay, so I'm saying this is the radius that is 12 centimeters. Even from the center of the earth to the end of this is going to make another radius that is 12 centimeters. Clear? So same thing from here to here is also another radius 12 centimeters. Okay, clear? Now a chord of a circle of radius 12 centimeters. So there's a chord. So the, what is the chord? A chord is basically a straight line from one end to the other end, right, of a circle. So this is called a chord. It makes an angle 120 degrees. So 120 degree clear. Up to this much clear. So we're asked to find the area of the corresponding segment of the circle. So we're asked to find this area. Okay. So we have to find this area. Okay. Now here, it becomes difficult for us to find out. Uh, what the triangle is all about. We cannot use Pythagoras theorem because here the angle is not 90, uh, it's not 90 degree. Neither can we use equilateral triangle because all the angles are not 60, 60 and 60, right? Because see, 120, these two angles must definitely be below, say it must be 30, 30 at the most, okay? It cannot be more than that. So here the idea of equilateral and the idea of right angle does not come in so what i do is i draw an angle bisector okay or perpendicular line here such that this given line right this given angle so let me just draw another di uh, diagram so i'll get this okay so i divide this given angle into two equal parts so that means this becomes 60 degree this also becomes 60 degree and this okay since it's a perpendicular line here this will become 90 degree each okay so this is b this is a I'll call this to be my O N, okay, O N. All right, and this is twelve centimeter. Now, see, it it becomes much easier for us to actually find out this given, um, this given problem. Okay, now let me show you how we can do this. Clear. So first thing is you just write solution. What you have, we have radius, and this radius is equal to twelve centimeter. We also have theta, which is equivalent to one twenty degree. Now we have to find the area of the corresponding segment. So in order to find the area of the corresponding segment or area of the segment, what do we do? We write this as area of sector, right? In our case, let's say area of minor sector minus area of triangle, the triangle AOB, AOB, okay? So now here, first thing area of minor sector we can easily find out so for area of triangle we have to find this out okay for area of triangle a o b now you look at this so i'll consider triangle okay so you can write this consider triangle for area first consider triangle a o n so you have an angle here this is 90 degree this is 60 degree okay this is o this is a n and i've asked okay we have we have to do this clear now trigonometric function what is sine 60 degree or sine theta is what it is perpendicular okay okay so i hope you're clear up to this much okay so you look at this okay so sine theta is what is this sine sine theta by the trigonometric value of function what do you understand sine theta c sine theta is perpendicular by what perpendicular so prp by hypotenuse i hope you have not forgotten okay hypotenuse okay sorry for this hypotenuse now what is the perpendicular in the case of this so it will be the 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 side opposite to this given angle okay so what is the theta here theta in the case of this is sine 60 clear Theta is sine 60, so I can write this as sine 60 degree. And uh, perpendicular here in the case of this is A N. And then this is O, O N, right? Hypotenuse is O N, okay? 
no o and o a okay so sin 60 is root 3 by 2 a n is keep it as it is and o a is 12 so you can cancel out 2 and 6 so this will become 6 root 3 equivalent to a n all right now let's go back okay a n is what 6 root 3 now an interesting thing about perpendicular bisector is a perpendicular bisector o n okay you can write it here o n is a perpendicular bisector okay is a perpendicular bisector hence okay hence it bisects or bisect means cut okay it's mm, okay so i hope my handwriting is if you cannot understand my handwriting please let me know okay bisect the line so you see what is o n the perpendicular bisector go back to the, this one uh, the diagram o n bisect is a perpendicular line it will divide the line a b okay it will bisect the line a b into two equal parts okay that is a and must be equal to n b clear so this must be both equal to 6 root 3 so you see this is becomes 6 root 3 and 6 root 3 now we can easily find out o and now you look okay again see now you can say now since triangle a o and is right angle right angle okay let me draw the triangle here you have this this and this so this is n this is o and this is a right so you see the triangle i'm considering this triangle a o n okay so what did we find out we found out that a n is 6 root 3 we also know that o a is the the radius right o a and that is 12 12 right and o n okay we don't know this so we can use hypotenuse we can use we used pythagoras theorem okay pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem this becomes uh, o a square hypotenuse square must be equal to base square plus perpendicular or height square okay therefore what is o a squared is 12 square equal to 6 root 3 square plus uh, o n okay so 12 square gives you 144 okay now this gives you 108 plus o n so you bring 144 minus 108 okay so this will be 36 sorry this there's a square here okay i forgot o n square so you take the square root of this 36 and then you know that this is going to be equal to 6 clear all right okay so o n is equal to 6 see you get o n sometimes your teachers must, must must be teaching you if it's square then we get it plus minus 6 right but obviously since here we're talking about height okay o n is what it's actually the height of the triangle so height can never take a negative value so by, uh, by default itself we we only accept the positive value clear your height can never be minus five feet right your your height has to be five feet it should be a positive number so here directly we choose n okay so now we have everything that we need so that means this given line the height of this triangle is what six six okay and so therefore you can write therefore okay so okay so for triangle okay for triangled a o b the base a b you get it by writing it as a n plus n b so that is 6 root 3 plus 6 root 3 so that is 12 root 3 right and the height what do you get the height as the height is 6 clear so now let's find out the answer okay i'll clear here whatever is here and we'll easily find out the answer therefore okay the area of the corresponding segment okay i'll just directly write the values corresponding segment is going to be what is the formula we have already written 360 into pi r square minus area of triangled a o b okay so theta is 160 360 
into pi they have told us to take 3.14 radius is 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter minus area of triangle half now what is the base formula what did we find we found this to be 12 root 3 and what is the height 6 so 2 into 3 cancelled this cancel 12 into 3 is 36 3 into 4 so what we are left here with we are left with 3.14 into 12 into 12 into 4 48 you have centimeter centimeter so centimeter square minus you take this as 12 into they have told us to take root 3 as 1.73 into 3 okay this will be again be centimeter and centimeter okay i forgot to write that again centimeter square so you take the multiplication of it 48 into 3.14 will give you 150.72 centimeter square okay clear up to this much so 36 into 1.73 will give you minus sorry this is not equal to okay will give you minus 62.28 centimeter square clear up to this much okay so 150 minus 72 seven, uh, 72 uh, 150.72 minus 62.28 the answer of this will be equal to 88.44 centimeter square clear all right see for this given triangle we don't we cannot find we, ca we don't know much about it okay we don't know what the height of this is going to be so we cannot use even th since this is by looking at this this is 120 so definitely angle a and b one of the even neither angle a neither angle b will be 90 degrees it's not possible okay it goes against the rule of some angle that means the sum of the three angles should be 180 it goes against it so because of that we are using all those okay you just if you're not very clear with this you pause the video and watch it slowly again okay but this is an important question okay it's a very interesting one too now we'll go with the second question okay question number eight so for question number eight, you see, a horse is tied to a pack of one corner of square field of side 50, the square field of side 15 meters. So all of this is what? 15 meter. The side of the square field is 15 meter. Clear? This is what we know. By means of a five meter rope. So you see, you can see this, right? So by means of this means this is five meter. In fact, if you can just see the figure, does not this, if I draw a circle here, doesn't this look like a circle? okay so doesn't this look like a sector so we're asked to find the area of the part of the field in which the horse can graze so obviously the horse can only graze in this area because it is already tight because the horse is tight the horse cannot travel the other areas it can only travel into this can i mean it can graze only in this area right and the radius is five meters so you see solution okay so what we have is the site of the square field first write that of the square field is given as 15 meter we also have the the radius okay that will serve as the radius okay radius will be given as 5 meter okay clear up to this much all right now so solution okay so therefore what we are asked to find we are find asked to find the area of the part of the field the horse can graze the horse can graze is going to be area of sector only clear because see you look at this the horse can only graze in this area okay it cannot go anywhere else because of the fact that it is tight so this becomes like the what it becomes like the it looks like a sector right it looks like a sector so we're going to use area of the sector so now the formula is 30 uh, pi 360 degree into pi r square now you may be confused okay what is theta going to be but look at this this is a straight line this is a straight line can you see this this is a square field and this is a straight line that means this angle okay is going to be 90 degree okay okay any straight line if you see that means a straight line the degree is always going to be 90 degree clear all right you can take take your protractor a 90 degree means it's going to be a straight line so here since this is a straight line okay here like this so this is also going to be 90 degree that means theta here that then since theta is going to be equal to 90 degree okay so you can write this as 90 divided by 360 
They have asked us to use pi as 3.14 and the radius is 5 meter into 5 meter. So you can cancel this out. 9 into 4 will give you 36. Okay. So what do you have here? You're left with 3.14 into 25 meter square divided by 4. Okay. So clear up to this much. So you have, when you multiply both of the values, you'll be getting this as 78.5 meter square divided by 4. Okay. So this will give you 19.625 meter square. Okay. So I, I hope you're clear with division. 78.5. 4 times 4 is what, 4. So you're left with 3. 3 times 4 times 9 is 36. So 2.5. You have to put point here. 4 times uh, 4 times 6 will give you 24. 1, 0. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times 5 will give you 20. So that is how you get this value. Now for the second part of the question. What is the question asking us for the second part? The increase of the area of the rope were 10 meter long instead of 5 meters. So instead of 5 meter, what happened? We increased the length of this up to 5 meters up to 10 meter okay so now what happened is the second question is we have increased the length initially it was 5 meter the length of the rope was 5 meter now we have increased it to 10 meter okay so the the horse will go further away okay so the length has become 10 meter so it's the same thing again that means that means the radius becomes 10 meter theta will still be the same 90 degree does not change therefore the area of okay the area of the okay the area of the area of okay wait mm -hmm. of the uh, grazing area so this is again going to be the same thing okay let me rub this off so it is going to be the just area of the sector when when the rope is increased the rope is increased to 10 meter okay so area of sector this is going to be the same formula that is pi by uh, theta by 360 into pi r square therefore this is going to be 90 by 360 pi is 3.14 radius we take it up to 10 meter into 10 meter so you see you can cancel this 9 into 4 is 36 2 5 times and 2 twice okay so 5. So you're left with 3.14 into 25 meters square. So you calculate this and see what do you get. 3.14 into 25 is 78.5 meters square. Okay. So this is the answer. Okay. For question number 8. Play with this. Okay. Okay. 3.14. Okay. of this graving field okay so this is the area of the grazing area when the rope is increased to 10 meter now mm, mm, therefore finally you can write this okay in the area when the rope is increased to 10 10 meter so mm, therefore uh, grazing area the area of the grazing the area of the Grazing area when the rope okay. So therefore, therefore, increase okay. What we are asked to find is we have to find the increase in the grazing area okay. Clear. Yeah, we are asked to find the increase in the grazing area. Clear. Here earlier we we this is the area of the grazing area area of the grazing area when the rope is increased to ten meter. Okay, so now we're asked to find out how much area has been increased. If we have uh, increased the 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 length of the rope from five meter to ten meters. So how much does uh how much area has also increased? Okay, so therefore we can write area of the grazing field. Okay, grazing field. Let's write that when rope is ten meter minus area of the grazing field. Grazing field when rope is 5 meter okay so this is going to be 
78.5 meter 78.5 meter square minus 19.625 meter square okay so you take the subtraction of that that is 78.5 minus 19.625 will actually give you 58.875 meter square okay all right this is going to be meter square okay so that is the question okay all right now the next question is this okay a brush is made with a silver wire okay this brush is made okay that means this brush this area is made with a silver wire in the form of a circle with diameter 35 millimeter so the diameter means this much right the diameter of a circle means that means this red line is 35 millimeter clear up to this much the wire that means what wire the silver wire is also used to mark in marking five diameters so you look at this how many diameters are there they're saying five diameters so this is one diameter this is two diameter three diameter four diameters and five diameters okay so with the help of the silver wire we form this given circle that you can see and apart from that we made the use of the same silver wire to even form the diameters so first thing we're asked to find is we're asked to find the total length of silver wire required so you can write solution first you have what you have you have diameter the diameter is given as 35 millimeter what is the formula of diameter it is 2 r 2 radius see you look at this the diameter is this right so you can also say this is this from here let me draw a blue line okay with that so diameter is that so radius of this circle is from here to here right so this is the r so again from the center to this r is radius so r plus r is what 2r so this 2r will give you the diameter okay so this becomes 25 millimeter so the radius is going to be 35 by 2 millimeter up to clear up to this much okay now first question is we're asked to find the total land of the silver wire required okay wire required clear so what do you have the total land of the silver wire required is going to be the area of or oh, not area okay so see you look at this look at this given graph so the total wire means this entire area is made using the silver wire clear so if it's this total area means we're talking about the circumference of a circle so circumference circumference plus what do you have we have it's clearly mentioned the wire is also used to in marking five diameter so they have made use of this wire they have made use of the silver wire for even finding out the diameters clear and they have clearly mentioned okay in marking five uh, diameters which okay the wire is also used in marking five diameters so apart from that they have used we have used uh, the silver wire to make a circumference this entire area we, we, we made use of the silver wire apart from that we have made five diameters so five diameters okay that will give you the total length see all this plus all this black everything that you can see let me rub that off okay maybe it might be confusing so see all the black area that you can see all the black uh, markings right so all these black markings plus this given um, diameters is 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 made with uh, is used okay or is made with the help of a silver wire so the circumference is 2 pi r right 5 diameter is 5 into what is the diameter already given is given as 35 millimeter so straight away you can write it as 5 into 35 millimeter so here they have not mentioned anywhere okay we have also been asked okay so we can use pi wh whichever values we want so i'll just use 22 by 7 okay into r so you see 5 this is into okay don't take it as point so 5 into 35 you see the you make the mu multiplication 5 into 35 5 3 15 uh, 5 5 25 so 1 one 175 millimeter so uh sorry one more again so the radius we can actually substitute the radius here okay so that is it so this will be equal to 2 
pi into 22 by 7. What is the radius in the case of this? 35 by 2. 35 by 2 millimeter. So 7 into 5, 35. 2 into 11. So see, 5 into 2, 10. 10 into 11, 110. Clear? So you can write this as 110 millimeter plus 175 millimeter. So this will give you 200. 85 millimeter okay that is the total length of the wire used the next is we're asked to find solution so next question is we're asked to find the area of each sector okay area of each sector of the brush okay so we know that the area of a sector of a brush is theta by 360 pi r square we know radius we know this but what is the going to be the value of theta now you look at this so from here if i start this and okay if i start the angle from here okay what is wrong from here and i go it up to this much this complete revolution okay this complete uh, the angle of all of this is going to be 360 degree clear all right so from here if i start and make a complete uh, turn over here then this this given whole angle will be 360 clear so it's like the watch okay from 12 o'clock that means 12 o'clock it keeps on moving it goes to uh, 5 10 15 okay right it goes to not 5 10 15 it goes to 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so like the watch this is 12 so if it goes from 12 and reaches at 12 then that entire angle becomes 360 degree clear so this entire rotation will become 360 now they have also mentioned that the circle is divided into 10 equal sectors so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so what you can write so can i write now here there are 10 equal sectors okay so hence you have 10 okay you can write uh, that as theta since we're asked to find theta when you the degree of this okay so so the okay the angle okay so in bracket you can write the theta formed by all the 10 sectors is equal to 360 degree so 10 theta this will be equal to 360 degree clear 10 theta will be 360 degree so for 1 theta what do you do you take 10 downside 360 into 10 so that means 1 theta is 36 okay so what i mean by this is you go back to the given graph so every angle that you see here okay it's interesting you can think about this so every angle of the sector this is 36 this is 36 okay all of this is equal so these are all 36 okay such that when you add all of them up 36 plus 36 plus 36 you'll end up getting 36 okay so remember what i told you if you take a complete revolution from here from this starting point and you end up here then the angle form is going to be 360 so all of this single sector the, the theta okay the angle is 36 clear so we already have theta is 36 therefore Therefore, the area, okay, you can write this as 36 by 360, write it as 22 by 7. The radius is given as 35 by 2 millimeter into 35 by 2 millimeter, clear? So, 7 times 5s are 35, 3 into 10, 2 times 11. So, you're left with 11 into 5 millimeter into 35 millimeter divided by 10 into 2 now you can again cancel this 5 times 2s are 10 5 times 7s are uh, 35 so 11 into 5 into 7 will give you 385 now millimeter millimeter so millimeter square clear divided by 4 this is the answer okay see this is millimeter okay millimeter it is not m into m okay it is millimeter okay the abbreviation for this okay this is millimeter so the answer is going to be this clear that means the area of each sector of the brush is 385 by 4 millimeters square each okay all right so one sector one sector means 
the area of one sector okay of this sector is going to be uh, 385 by 4 millimeter square so if you want to check it out okay this is just for verification purpose if you want to check it out whether the answer of this is correct or not you take you multiply 384 into 10 because they are 10 equal bruce so you'll get this as 300 850 divided by 4 and find out the area of a circle okay and you see okay and three you see whether it is equal to this okay so 3850 okay if you're interested you can please try this out you see if this is equal to 962.5 uh, okay so you just check out area of a circle very simple pi r square you see whether it is equal to 962.5 so if it's equal to 962.5 means it means one sector okay i'm saying this is area of each sector it's not the area of the 10 sector of each sector it means of one sector is okay or you can write this as instead of each you can write it as area of each or one sector is 385 by 4 clear so we'll end the video here.